When we first bought this house, it was completely gutted. There was nothing left but bare bones, so we were able to turn this floor into whatever we wanted. At the top of the stairs, we located what is technically the second bedroom, but we use as our master bedroom. It's the smallest, darkest room in the house, but it makes it great for sleeping. I've covered the walls in a dark chestnut brown grass cloth and then used the same color on the window treatments. When it's closed at night, it's this little cocoon, perfect for sleeping. Off our bedroom is a small balcony, which reminds us a lot of our old condo. It's the perfect spot to have a cup of coffee and really just enjoy the view. The detailing on the railing is something that is inspired from our vacations in Barbados. It's a traditional colonial style that fits well with the Victorian home, but it's also contemporary because we painted it out black. Beside our bedroom is my dream bathroom. I've always wanted a tub and a freestanding shower, and this bathroom has it all. We also have these two smaller scale sinks, but it was purposely done because I didn't want this space to feel too tight. So this marble clad wall and ledge was a detail that I was longing for from the beginning. It was a big job to get this piece in here, but I think it really, really makes this bathroom feel special. I also love how this wall mounted faucet comes from this large slab and really just kind of sets this whole wall off. Tucked behind this door is a really large shower, which I am in love with because it has a window and a rain shower head, and I can actually stand in there with my arms in the air and not actually even feel the rain shower head. It just feels like you're literally standing in the rain. So this room is definitely my favorite one in the house. Originally this room had standard height ceilings with a non-accessible attic above. My partner wanted to raise the ceiling height, which I was a little nervous about at first, but it really has created this incredible space. Technically this is the master bedroom, but we use it as a living room because it is the biggest and brightest space and we don't need the third bedroom. One of the most impactful elements in the room has got to be this super huge Benjamin ficus. It's doing really well in here because it's so easy to care for and it doesn't actually need direct light. I might actually be able to keep this alive. This is the TV watching room, so the furniture had to be comfortable and practical, but I still wanted it to be pretty. The sofa is by Barrymore, and it's really big and has a big comfy seat. It's down filled and perfect for napping. Under the tree is another Barrymore piece. It's a William Birch style chair in a black velvet, which I really love, although it really attracts cat hair, which we're learning, but it's totally worth it. I then added some accessories like this green mud cloth here and a more creamy mud cloth, as well as some gorgeous mohair. The textures and the colors, again, kind of relate to what's happening downstairs, but just a little more cash and a little more comfortable. So this third floor didn't exist. It was an unfinished attic space, which was not accessible. And we raised the ceiling and created this guest room. I wanted the room to have a well-traveled vibe to it, almost have a guest feel like they're on vacation when they're staying with us. There's a few nods that relate to the rest of the house, but then this room is a little prettier. I chose more pattern in the drapery and painted the ceiling a pale blue, just to kind of elevate it a bit more and make it feel special. I didn't spend a ton of money in this room, but I wanted it to look like I did. This bed is originally from Ikea, vintage, which I painted it black, and it looks like a million bucks. The dresser was mine when I was a kid, and I had changed the hardware years ago to these terrible stainless steel ones. Thankfully, I didn't throw away the old ones because they look so much better. So that wraps up the second and third floor. If you missed the first floor tour, there will be a link in the description, so make sure to check that video out too. This house has been a real labor of love. It's taken a long time to get here, but I'm super proud of the end result. I've learned a lot along the way, but I wouldn't change a thing even if I had to. Now that it's all said and done, I'm most excited to just live in it and really enjoy this home. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs>